Today we're going to do some DIY stained glass or color tint or dye some glass jars and bottles. This is what you're going to need to do the project. I've got some paper towel, some tin foil lined cookie sheet. I've got some skewers that I broke in half, so I just need the half of them. Some little plastic jars to mix our solution up in and assorted glass jars and some food coloring. I'm using some gel food coloring. You can also use the liquid also. Um, and this one's nice because it's already in pre-mixed colors. And some Elmer's School Glue. I love doing these glass jars in all the different colors. Uh, the first one I'm going to work on is one of these mason jars. You want to make sure you have an area where um, you can keep everything kind of neat and clean because it will stain with the food coloring. So I have a piece of tin foil and then I'm just going to put a piece of uh, paper towel on top of it so when we drain it out it can catch onto the paper towel and not make a mess. I'm going to be using the Elmer School Glue. Now there isn't really an actual measurement to this. You just kind of want to mix up enough that you think is going to be good for your project. Um, and when I'm using the school glue, I don't like to dilute it with any water. I find it sticks to the jar better without it being diluted. If you're using Mod Podge, which also works perfect for this project, you might want to um, kind of water it down a little bit because I do find that it is a little bit thicker and doesn't run as well over the bottle as the Elmer's glue does. So I'm just adding my food coloring until I get the desired color that I want. You want to make sure that you're using quite a bit. You want quite a, di a dark color because as this dries, it's gonna lighten. So by making it darker, you'll know that you're gonna have it the right color when you're finished this project. So. I'm going to add, I think, a little bit more, and you just kind of do it until you're happy with the color. And all of this food coloring is just in my craft room. I don't use it for my cooking. It was just bought just for crafts. Okay, so this is a really good color, nice dark blue, and now we're ready to put it in the jar. Now while you're mixing up this um, color, you can preheat your oven. We're gonna preheat the oven to 175 to 200, so it's nice and hot and ready for when we're finished with these jars so we can bake them. And I'm just gonna dump the mixture right into the glass jar. This is really a simple, easy DIY, and it creates beautiful tinted stained glass, and you can do it in all kinds of different colors for every season and, um, they look perfect in the center of a table. And I'm just gonna get everything in here. And then once you have it all out of this little container, we're gonna swirl it around in the glass jar and make sure it gets completely coated. I've got it swirled around, completely covered on the inside, and now I'm just gonna set it on the paper towel and let it drip down and make sure that it's all completely covered really well. Now I'm gonna do a yellow one in this little jar. So once again, we're just gonna measure out the glue to approximately what you think will cover the glass, add the food coloring, and swirl it around. And again, make sure you add lots of color because it's gonna dilute the color as it dries. So maybe mix a color that you think you want it and then just add a little touch more and that will probably be the color that you want. This one's gonna be really pretty, this nice vibrant yellow. got this all swirled around we're ready to put it upside down and let it drain off now when you're doing these they're never going to be perfect you're always going to have the odd streak or the odd bubble there I actually really like that because then it makes it look like it's old and vintage and um, not brand new and now I'm going to do some green I'm going to do a, a, the six different colors so I can show you how they all look when they're finished and um, 
how vibrant and beautiful they can be even all together. I'm just gonna add the green food coloring. And I'm not gonna show you my fingers because the, <laughs> I'm already covered in, I probably should have put some gloves on, but that's not the way I roll. I always like to have a big mess, as you know, um, but this will stain. So if you don't wanna get your fingers all different colors, then put some gloves on. So I'm just mixing up this beautiful green color. I want it to be quite a dark, so I'm gonna add a bit more, and then we're ready to put it in the bottle and swirl it around. And the green one's done. And I'm just gonna put it upside down and let it drain also. I love this little bottle with the cork and I think I wanna make it amber. So I'm gonna mix up some brown and make a really pretty amber color for this. Dump in what I think I need for the project. Get a little skewer. Scoop it into the, the glue. And like I said before, if you have some Elmer's glue, you can use that. You can also use the Elmer's glue clear. It works really well. And you can also use Mod Podge. The, but like I said before, I find the Mod Podge is a little bit thicker, so you might want to water it down a little bit with a little tiny bit of water um, when you're doing this technique. And I found with this glue, you didn't need to. Okay, now I'm gonna do pink. The nice thing about this set of all the different gel colors is they're already mixed into specific colors. If you're getting the little food coloring that has just the four different colors, you'll have to mix and match. Get your color chart out to mix the colors that you want. Um, that's what I like about this one. This one's already mixed to pink and you can use it right away. Now, the one thing that I will mention with this is this is not permanent. This is just glue and food coloring. So, um, you you can't fill the, do this process and then fill it with water and put flowers in it or something like that. It'll just peel right off the jar. This is just for decor purposes only. And um, if you do it and you don't like the way that it turned out, soak it in some really hot soapy water and I'll get a scrub brush and it'll all come back and you can start from scratch again. Now this one, I kind of didn't mix the glue in probably well enough with the food coloring and it's got a little bit of a um, textured color to it. So it might turn out a little bit streaky, but that's okay. I don't mind that look and we're just gonna roll with it. Last bottle, I'm going to do this one and I'm gonna do it in red and uh, I'm gonna mix it all up swirl it around and then we'll be ready to put these all in the oven and let them bake. The other thing that I should mention before I put these in the oven is these have to be really super clean before you do this. If there's any grease or grime on the inside, the uh, paint and the food coloring will not stick to it and you'll end up having a, blo a blob in your glass where the, it hasn't attached. So give it a really good scrub in a soapy sink full of water and um, even an alcohol wipe to wipe out the inside would help too. I've got these all done. My oven's preheated and I'm ready to take it down and put it on the oven and um, I can't wait to see how these turn out. And wearing gloves, would have been a perk also. The oven is preheated to 175. I've put them on a tinfoil lined cookie sheet and we're just gonna leave them in there for about five minutes. And then we're going to rotate them over the other side and we're gonna just keep doing that back and forth until they're completely dry and you'll know they're dry when they're translucent. Now they're all done. It probably took about a half an hour in the oven um, and putting them up and down and reversing them every five minutes to get them dry. They all turned out really well, except for this 
blue one, and I think I know what happened. It probably had a little bit of residue on the inside and it wasn't sticking. Um, and you can see how it kind of bubbled up and um, it didn't work. And sometimes this can be a little bit of a tricky process. So I just wanted to show you that not all the time does it always work out perfect, but um, I'm going to wash this one out and probably redo the blue over again, but the other ones turned out perfect and I love them. And I'm just gonna show you, you can see how easy it is to redo it. This kind of just peels right out and you can retry it again. So I'm gonna do this one again, but I'm gonna make sure that I really, really clean it really well. I probably didn't use um, enough of an alcohol wipe to get any grease or grime. Maybe it had some sort of a, a greasy food in it before, and that's why it didn't adhere. But I just wanna update you guys on that in case that does happen to you. They're all finished and I love them. And probably the amber is my favorite color. Let me know down in the comments which one's your favorite. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.